big day of reckoning coming for America and it's coming very soon. Mainstream financial media is completely ignoring. I mean, you're asking questions that not only don't they have the answers to, but they're not even smart enough to ask the questions. When you see a guy like Warren Buffett moving into a Barrick Gold as to what does this imply as far as what Warren Buffett's outlook is for the U.S. economy and for the dollar and for inflation and, and, and for the bond market? When Buffett was you know, bad mouthing gold in the past, I mean, what he really was saying was that gold is not the best hedge against inflation. It's a non-productive asset. It just sits there. And Warren Buffett always says that he likes to own businesses, not even stock. He likes to buy businesses. And obviously he does that through the stock market, but he's investing in underlying businesses because he thinks that businesses provide a good hedge against inflation. They have real assets. You can raise prices. It's just that now I think Warren Buffett realizes that inflation is going to be much worse in the future than it's been in the past. And Warren Buffett knows that during periods of very high inflation, which we've had in the past, that's when gold really shines. So I think what this move shows you is that Buffett now understands the traditional hedges that he's used for inflation are not going to be adequate for the severity of what's coming. Because Buffett knows what inflation is. He defines it as an increase in the money supply. He correctly labels it as a tax. Uh, and so he knows that he knows it's just not rising prices. He could see the Federal Reserve debasing the dollar. He sees the deficits. He sees all the spending. And so he understands gold's going to go up. But I think the reason he chose to buy a gold mining company rather than just the metal is because he likes the business aspect of Barrick Gold because they make money mining gold. And he's not even just buying their income streams. But when you buy Barrick Gold, you are in effect buying all the gold in the ground, in the mines that they own. He knows is going to be far more valuable in the future than it is today. I have been warning about a dollar crisis for a long time. In fact, if you go back to my first book, Crash Proof, How to Profit from the Coming Economic Collapse, and that book predicted the 2008 financial crisis, because I wrote about how the Federal Reserve had inflated this housing bubble, and that when the housing bubble popped, we would have this financial crisis, the worst recession since the Great Depression, 10% unemployment, trillion dollar deficits. And that I, I wrote at the time that the, the government would respond to this crisis. They would print more money, they would slash interest rates, and they would attempt to reflate the bubbles. I believed at the time that that action, that all the money that they would print uh, in order to try to reflate these bubbles would cause a dollar crisis. What I got wrong at the time was underestimating the ability of the Fed to not just attempt to reflate bubbles, but to actually succeed. I was surprised that they were able to blow up a bubble that was bigger than the one that popped in 08, but they did. And because they did that, we were able to kick the can down the road uh, you know, until now. But during those years of can kick, all of the problems that led to the 08 financial crisis have gotten so much bigger. We have a lot more debt now than we did then. We made far more mistakes because interest rates were even lower for an even longer period of time. So the Federal Reserve has screwed up the economy in a far worse way than it did before. So now I think the dollar crisis that I have been warning about and helping my clients prepare for is just around the corner. I mean, the dollar is going to implode. And, and, and you know, you mentioned back in 1971, we went off the gold standard. We did, but the world did not go off the dollar standard. The, the dollar was marked down dramatically during the 70s, but the world continued to hold it as a reserve currency. I think the significance of what's about to happen is the world is now going to go off the dollar standard. Before we continue, help us by smashing that YouTube like button and subscribe now to this channel. This shows the algorithm that you value the information and it helps us spread this message. Sharing is caring. Please like and subscribe now. Thank you. And now, let's continue. Well, people have to appreciate how great a benefit the dollar being the reserve currency has been for the U.S. economy. It's kind of like if you had a checkbook and you could just write checks and buy stuff. You didn't actually have to have any money in the bank. 
you could just write checks and buy what you wanted because nobody ever cashed your checks. They just circulated. People just took your checks and, and passed them around. And so you could live a great life and buy whatever you want if no one cashed your checks. And that's what's been going on. No one's cashed their dollars in. No one's taken their dollars and tried to buy anything that we make. They just hold them. They buy bonds, they buy stocks, you know, but they don't buy real stuff. So we haven't had to make good these IOUs. So we're able to import all these products and consume them. And we don't have to export products to pay for them. We're able to borrow all this money, but we don't have to save. The world does it for us. So we've had this whole bubble economy, this consumer-based economy that is on the foundation of the dollar's reserve currency status. When the world rejects that and goes back to the gold standard, which is not this archaic thing, people think, oh, that's donate. We were on the gold standard until 1971. Even though it was a dollar standard, the dollar was backed by gold and redeemable in gold. So the dollar was as good as gold, at least that's what everybody thought uh, who, who signed on to this. So we're going to go back to the monetary system that existed before the dollar was a fiat reserve currency. The world is going to back their currencies by gold rather than U.S. dollars. That doesn't mean we're going to be transacting in bars of gold. It just means that foreign central banks are going to hold more gold. And that's going to be the primary asset that backs up their, 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 their currency. And so in that world, where the world is using real money and not dollars, now America is just another country. Now, if we want to consume, we have to produce. We just can't you know, run huge trade deficits. If we want to run these big government deficits, we got to fund them. Americans have to save. Americans have to lend this money to the government. You know, we can't, we're not going to get it from the Chinese or the Japanese or the Saudi. Now, if we try to get it from the Federal Reserve, if the Fed is just printing money, but the dollar is not being held as a reserve currency, then we just have massive inflation or maybe even hyperinflation. You're not going to see real estate prices crash or stock prices crash because the value of the dollar may crash more. So it's like, you know, if I'm in a car and I'm going backwards at 20 miles an hour and the car next to me is going backwards at 30 miles an hour, it may look like I'm going forward, but I'm not. It's just, I'm not going back as quickly. So you could be losing wealth in an asset that you think is appreciating, but it's not because you're measuring the value of that asset in a currency that's losing value faster than the asset itself. Because the Federal Reserve can print an unlimited amount of money. There's nothing that stops them. And that's what they're doing. So they're going to destroy the value of the dollar. The government is going to try to prevent prices from coming down. That's what they want. They don't want the stock market crashing. They don't want the, the bond market crashing. They don't want the real estate market crashing. So they're going to sacrifice the dollar to prevent all that from happening. I think gold can easily at this point go to 10,000, 15, 20,000. Uh, you know, it's going to go much, much higher. I mean, look at where the Dow Jones is. You know, the Dow Jones is what, 26, 27,000, whatever that is. Uh, you know, I could easily see the price of gold and the Dow Jones being the same. I mean, they were the same in 1932. They were the same in 1980. So I think that they will be the same again. I just don't know exactly at what price they'll meet, but I'm pretty sure they're going to meet or come close to meeting. And, and so it's probably not going to happen with the, the NASDAQ, the Dow down at 5,000. Uh, maybe it could happen at 10,000, but maybe it'll happen at a higher number. I mean, they could both meet at 50,000. You can have the Dow Jones at 50,000 and gold at $50,000 an ounce. Gold is $50,000 an ounce. You have to understand that 50,000 on the Dow may mean that you're poor, even if you own stocks. And the Dow Jones is at 50,000. If a ounce of gold is at 50,000, you have to ask yourself, how much is a loaf of bread gonna cost me, right? So everything is relative. You know, forget about the number. It's the purchasing power that matters, not how big the number is, but what you can actually buy. What to do in such a situation? Inform yourself and keep your financial education strong. We from the Compact Group offer our loyal subscribers a free educational portal with first-hand monetary, financial, and economic knowledge. Enter our invite-only Insider Club by clicking the link below. You will get access to first-class information far earlier than the rest. We have prepared a special deal for all our members where you can access a giant pool of Robert Kiyosaki's financial wisdom for just $1. To find out more, simply click the link below and join our Insider Club absolutely free. But there is more you can and should do. Build up several streams of income. More and more people realize that they have to take their future in their own hands, but they don't know how and where to start. We from Compact 
offer our Insider Club members unique opportunities. Strengthen your financial muscle and get the edge. Click the link below. Become part of our free Insider Club. No financial obligations. But there's one important thing you have to know. You have to become active. So do it now. Become active and see you on the other side.